How's it going? Henry here. In this video, we're going to talk about how I made a $560 podcasting this week. I'm really excited because if you've been following along, um, you've seen the growth. So you've seen how things have started to make more and more. But I did some things different this week that I think anybody could do at any size of their podcast to bring you a little bit of income. So it can be something that either you reinvest into your podcast, make it bigger, um, or you know be able to pay for things. Just whatever you want to do, this is a really cool um, experience I had this past week. So I'm excited to talk about that. So the number one thing you want to see is the total money. So let's go ahead and look at that um, over here. So this is a spreadsheet. If this is the first time you've seen this, then this is what I've been using to track uh, my income through my podcast since the beginning of the year. And if you want to stay like up to date with all this, please subscribe. Um, give this video a like. It'll help it become more discoverable. And I think that's helpful for people that have a passion and want to do a podcast so that way they can see like what steps someone can take to get there. I'm not fully an expert on this. So I am just sharing what I learn. And that way, you know, you can grow along with me. But right here, 56126. So that was the total for the week. Um, if you add up the different streams, so there was three places that money came from. There was um, the actual Anchor ad. So I use Anchor as my podcasting host. Uh, made five hundred and or sorry, four hundred and fifty six dollars twenty six cents there. Um, I had an additional sponsor through um, Advercast or AdvertiseCast, and that was a one hundred five. And then I did a coaching session for sixty five dollars, and that's what we're going to talk about um, with there. I actually, had two coaching sessions, but. The way that it paid out is um, balanced a little bit differently, so I'm going to count that on, on the next one. But for the total of $561.26, you can see that stream there, that's pretty huge because my biggest one was the week before, 809. I think that was the biggest week, week I've had if you go back and look at other ones. No, I had 847, but uh, you know, those ones had the additional... Um, anchor ad in there, which I'll, I'll talk about briefly, but those weren't just from the main anchor ads. There's two ads that you have to anchor, which we can actually look at that right now. Um, you have your host red ads. So that's what that top one is, the host red ad. So this this one right here, that's all from host red. So that's the highest host red ad revenue that I have ever had. The rest of it comes from automated ads. These only play on Spotify right now. Um, so actually, I think they start paying a little bit more. I think it's 13, it used to be 12. So that's kind of cool that this is paying more. That's something I just discovered right now, paying more than this ad. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about what my plan is for this. But anyway, um, that's that's what we did. Now, the big question everybody says or asks is, how many downloads did it take to get that? So let's look at my dashboard. This is kind of cool because uh, this is the biggest month I had, which makes sense. You know, it's going to be the biggest month. You're going to make the most or biggest week make the most. But if you look at my trend here, we are finally back up on a rise. We had a nice jump. Um, 37,000. Let's see here. 37,240 plays for the month that or for the week. That's this, this past week. And that's from Friday to Friday. That's when I pay out because it matches up. Um, basically, this goes from Friday morning at 12.01 all the way till Thursday night at midnight. So that's kind of the range that it goes from. So that's pretty much how I pay myself out. I actually do it at 9 a.m. in the morning on Friday and pay myself out. But pretty cool. Um, Spotify is starting to grow again. So, you know, if you hadn't seen this before, I share um, Spotify stuff. So this is the Spotify background, like where you can see the info on there and so you can see like starts streams listeners all that stuff but if you go over here to audience i can i usually go to 90 day just so i can see but you can see you know great um, numbers for spotify in fact this was my best day i believe a five four five four whereas my old highest was five one so i had the best day in spotify which is awesome but the cool thing is that itunes is actually growing more like itunes has been consistently growing and that's like the big thing for podcasting i mean spotify is great and they of course own anchor so you know this wouldn't exist without spotify um but apple and that's that's the big one so for growing on there um is absolutely huge one of the things i want to talk about is how you know you can make some additional money cuz a lot of people want this anchor money right here 
but it seems like the standard for getting that has increased. I know a lot of people are meeting the threshold of where you unlock it, but then they're not receiving the ad. And what I would recommend doing is figuring out how you can make money outside of that because I believe, you know, for me, the best ad has been this one right here, this um, host red ad. My guess is that this is eventually going to go away. Um, I don't know how long they're going to continue to pay to promote their brand, the anchor.fm. And that's the biggest, you know, moneymaker for me. So I'm preparing for that to disappear. And the best way to do that, I mean, if you think about this, if somebody would pay you to say something on your podcast, like, um, like the automated ads, especially, or advertised cast or any of these others, if someone would pay you $10, then they must be feeling that they're going to get more than a $10 return on whatever it is they're selling. And so I believe the best thing you do is create something of value to people that are interested in what you're creating and sell that. And I know a lot of people don't want to, you know, they don't want to be a salesperson. They don't want to be in like a business mind type thing. But, you know, if you want to do this professionally, you probably have to do some things that you may not be used to or have a skill set in if you really want to make a business out of it or you know, be able to expand in your passion, you know, to the utmost, you know, power. Meaning, I like helping people. I like talking about things that can help with perspective, with mindset, all this stuff. And I want to be able to do it more because I know the effect it has. I get to talk to the people that listen. And I know it has a positive effect. If I continue to have like my main job, which I enjoy my job. I work for Gold's Gym. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, but that is not the path that I'm ultimately trying to go. And so I have to develop a business that way I can full time do what it is that I really feel like I'm meant here to do or want to do. Um, and that's what you have to decide if that's something you want to do. So what I did is I offered some coaching sessions. So I'm a mindset person. I've been a personal trainer. I've done you know a lot of coaching, whether it's through business, like you know brand development or personal development, like building yourself up, um, or coaching, you know health, wit, fitness, weight loss, all that stuff. And I decided to offer one free coaching session um, with an option to leave a tip. So that was the idea. So I was gonna offer a session, and you can tip me. It's completely up to you what you want to tip. And I know that sounds kind of crazy because you might be afraid, well, I'll do this, you know, our, you know, service, whatever it is. It could be coaching. You might be an artist. You might, whatever, you know, your brand is on and they may not pay me, you know, what I'm worth. And the thing is, it's not about getting paid what you're worth at that point. At least for me, it was just about, can I do this in a way where people would be receptive and see value in it and want to leave a tip? Because once that is done, which it's clear people do, then you can put the price that makes sense to you on it and, and go forward. And so that doesn't mean everybody watching this is a life coach or a weight loss coach or anything like that. But you can find something that is relative to the topic that you're in and offer that free, you know, one on one, you know, with, you know, hey, leave a tip if you found it valuable. Um, so that's one thing that um, I'm not going to do any more of. I actually have something that I'm going to build that into um, like a coaching program and stuff because it's, it's what I love to do. I just love helping people and. Um, I think I'm fortunate that I'm pretty good at it. So um, I'm going to build that into something. But for now, 65 bucks. I ended up agreeing to do five of them, and then I cut it off. Um, I was surprised. It was a pretty good response. And I just, you know, the first person said, asked me. I said, yes. Second person, I said, yes. And then I got all the way up to five. I said, like, okay, I have to stop um, because I want to build something. But you'd be surprised, you know, especially when you have a small audience. Um, those are very loyal people that believe in what you're doing. Um, you know, how they'd be opening to supporting you. Additional sponsors. So I've built my media kit and I'm trying to gather more sponsorships with that. Um, this one is, I think, probably pretty high up there on the to-do list just because if, if Anchor stopped doing it, you know, I would want to make sure that I have something in the pipeline, um, but also affiliate income. So if you have additional sponsors, that's great, but it's still based on having a lot of downloads. And if you don't have a lot of downloads, then you're probably not going to get sponsors. So affiliate income, this one is something that I've tried, um, had some success with, but I think I found a product that I align with. There's one brand that I had been working with in the past, and I really liked what they did, and that's why I did it. And I would still you know, put the link, of course, and support them as much as I can. Um, but it didn't seem like a good fit for my audience. They weren't too responsive to it. And, you know, that's fine. You know, it's all about finding something that I align with, I feel good about, 
And if it's valuable to them, you know, hopefully they buy it. And so that's how they can support your podcast. But I found another one. Um, it's actually Audible. So if you are someone that is in some kind of space where Audible would be valuable, I would suggest checking out their affiliate program. It works for me because I get a lot of people asking me um, about what books to read just because the space we're in, they want to, you know, listen to different things that could help them build that positive mindset. Um, so, you know, Audible was a great fit because I recommend a book and if it's on Audible, then they can get it and they can sign up. And so that was a good fit. So I haven't actually posted it yet. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to put the link in the show notes and then I'm going to do an ad in places I don't have ads. So, you know, the beginning of the podcast has ads through Anchor. And then occasionally I get a mid-roll ad through the additional sponsor. So those ones are already taken. But all the places that haven't been sold yet, you know, no one's bought it, I'm going to create my own ad. Something like this episode is sponsored by Audible. Audible is a great place to find amazing content um, like this podcast to help you lift your mindset, change your perspective. This is some of the books I recommend. Check it out. There's a link in the description. It's going to give you a free trial. It also supports the podcast if you do that. So something along those lines. I just made that up, but I'll make like a quick, you know, 20, 30 second spot um, for it. And I'll recommend a couple books that either I'm currently reading or have read that are of value. So that way they can sign up for the free trial and then get the book and they do the trial. If they like it, they can keep it. If not, you know, that's fine as well. So Find an affiliate offer that really aligns with your product, with people that uh, would be listening to what you do, um, and it's good. It's easy to look at the payout and, and base your decision on that, like how much this thing would pay you, and I understand that because I've had those same feelings. And um, if you do that, which let's kind of switch back over here, if you just worry about your payout and how much you're going to make, I don't think you'll be as successful uh, maybe you will. Um, I think there's, I actually, I take that back. There's a lot of people that do things strictly for the money and they make plenty of money doing it, but that's not me. Um, I want to feel good about the product. You know, I would hate to look back and think that, well, I just did this because it paid out the most when I have a mission of helping people. Um, you can have a balance, or at least that's my storyline is I think I can have a balance of having products that I'm offering to people that will help them and also in alignment with what I'm trying to create and are a good deal for, for everybody involved, you know, solid payout, um, solid product, you know, all those things. So that's the goal. That's what we're working on. I thank you so much for joining in on this video. If you want to continue to follow the ride, if you want to be a part of what we're doing here, trying to build up something that, you know, hopefully is a value. If you want to create your podcast, you know, go ahead and get started. But give this video a follow or subscribe to the channel and let's just keep growing together. Let's keep each other accountable. You know, if you see me uploading every single week, you should be uploading every single week because there's no difference between us. In fact, you probably have something amazing to offer that I could never comprehend and it's time to start now. Well, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.